Hello, this is David D. Hilser. I am a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and if you are not science woke, then this is the place for you. There are literally thousands and thousands of scientists from around the world who have been working for decades outside the mainstream, who have identified problems, fixed those problems, and who are proposing new theories and models. You won't find anything like this on YouTube, so we want to make sure you go down below, click on the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you will be alerted to when our next video drops. I love these days because this is the day I don't talk about and complain about these articles and mainstream who is absolutely, unfortunately, they are so far from reality. We have th today a real treasure trove of books by one of the people and one of the people who wrote the book that I, one of the books that you must read, and that is uh, Dinosaurs and the Expanding Earth by uh, uh, Stephen Hurl. And he has put together a list of books in the area of expansion tectonics. These are must books. These are all worth reading. I've, I have them all, or if I don't have them all, I should. So we're going to take a look at this, a list of, a list of recommended Earth expansion books. And that is listed on dinox.org. That's D-I-N-O-X. Dot org Again, Dinosaurs and the Expanding Earth is on my list of must-reads. <clears throat> Why? Well, because, well, if you want to go right up above there and take a look at it, uh, I have a link right there. You can, you can click on that, and, and, and I'll tell you why. But in a nutshell, it's because the evidence for the Earth expanding and gaining mass is massive. It's really hard to argue away, and because of that, that changes a lot in physics is why would the earth be gaining mass and it's certainly not just from stuff falling on it long story but interesting it will open your eyes to yes we need new models for the universe <clears throat> excuse me okay let's go forward here and let's look at it he says a the latest list of earth expansion books in reverse chronological order that means he these are the newest ones beyond plate tectonics unsettled science unsettled unsetting can't read today unsetting oh unsettling settled science boy say that fast unsettling settled science uh, by james maxlow the number one geologist today in my opinion on the planet uh who is of course the proponent of expansion tectonics and says that only not only the earth is expanding but in fact he he says that it's gaining mass now you see this beautiful model and this is this is just uh just beautiful 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 and if you look right next to right here you're going to see oh that's where it came from if you so if you enlarge that cut that out and put it on a ball and then which is really hard to do and then you uh put a nice coating on there and then of course you sign it which is, this is signed. You can see that there. Woohoo! Um, then you have an amazing, I don't know, gift from a guy who's really a famous guy, in my, in my opinion. So you want to read that. That is just really good. Science is never settled. New revolutionary ideas have always overturned the settled sciences of the past. In, the far -reaching, uh, in this far-reaching book, the authors look beyond plate tectonics in order to detail the next earth science revolution. Absolutely. I will stake my entire reputation on this. This is non-negotiable in my opinion. Yes, don't believe me. Go read it for yourself because once you do and you really are a critical thinker, it's going to be hard for you to say, hmm, how come all the, the, the continents fit together on a smaller orb with almost no modification when you take away the C4 bed by the, the ages they are? And all folks... It's, it's, there's no doubt in my mind. Expanding Earth and Space Geo, uh, Geodesy, Geodesy by Jane Koziar. Jean, Jean Koziar, I believe he is from Poland. A detailed ex examination of the circular arguments in space geodesy that result in many fictitious artifacts in science but are resolved with Earth expansion. Really great book. Look, free! Woohoo! Um, that one's a little bit more technical, but it's still worth your while. So I, I'd suggest start with uh, the uh, book by uh, Stephen Hurl, uh, Dinosaurs and Expanding Earth, because that's for the average person. Uh, but these are still all great. Spread and Growth, uh, Spread and Growth Tectonics, the East uh, Ecocene Transition, Carl uh, Luckert, 
Luckert, now an emeritus professor at Missouri State University, has been working on expanding Earth questions since 1979 and updates <coughs> us with his latest thinking in his book and enlarged version of his 1999 publication. This guy has been working. I've heard about him. Really great. You can buy that online. And of course, here we go again, James Maxlow, the guy. Oh, he's got a big... <laughs> This is bigger than this one. I want one of those. But you can make them, actually. Um, James' latest book, it's on the origin of continents and oceans, a paradigm shift in understanding. Um, this is where he really lays it out. Um, he just, <laughs> if you read Maxlow, everything he wrote, if you watch all the, the videos online that he's, he's talked, <clears throat> talked about, <clears throat> If you go away with the idea that nah, this isn't really this doesn't really work, I'm sorry. You, you you're, no, I'm sorry. It's almost impossible, in my opinion. James Maxwell's latest book is a comprehensive text textbooks covering all the latest evidence for Earth expansion. Hard hardback and Kindle editions are available. Uh, there is a full PDF of Maxwell's book available. You notice, oh yeah, he's so interested in making tons of money on this. He's already written his name. In stone, hi, hope James, he's probably gonna watch this, I'll send him a link. Hey James, you know I am just a student of yours, but your name is written in stone, <clears throat> doesn't matter. You're going down in history, in a good way. <laughs> uh, you can buy the part one and part two. Non Terra non firma, plate tectonics is a myth. This is his earlier book by James Maxlow, a Kindle edition of James Maxwell's popular first book about Earth expansion. He was not always in Earth expansion. He, why did he get into it? Well, when he was, well, long story. But anyways, I'll tell that in a different day. Uh, very interesting story, actually. It has to do with the South Pole. Uh, the Con uh, Continental Drift Controversy, four volumes by Henry Frankel. The theories of continental drift and plate tectonics are inherently interwoven with Earth expansion theories. Most history books simply ignore the obvious fact, but Frankel presents the true history, including Earth expansion, making this history book the most comprehensive history of theories about the Earth available. Wow. I don't have that one. Huh? I'll probably find that costs like $300 because it's not in print anymore. Uh, anyways, uh, the, uh, ex the next one here is the expansion, the Earth Expansion Evidence, ch a challenge for geology, geophysics, and astronomy. Oh, got some great names there. Uh, uh, Geom 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 Scalera, uh, Geo Carlo, Giancarlo. Don't, I'm saying this all wrong. Forgive me. Forgive me, Dr. Maxlow. I butcher names all the time. I'm a linguist. We do that. We don't care about the details. We care about the system. Uh, Iboshi and a, a name, uh, probably Polish or a Slavic uh, in the name. Anyways, very, uh, sounds like a great book because uh, Scalera is a, uh, he's from Italy. A book of selected, contribu uh, selected contributions in the into, into, into interdisciplinary workshop held in uh, Eris, Sicily, Italy, from 4th to the 9th, October 2011, at the uh, Majorana Foundation and Center for Scientific Culture. Majorana. If that's the same Majorana, my dad, the particle guru, which you should check out, uh, his uh, uh, go-to. Just look up particle guru, and you'll find it on YouTube. He's got great videos talking about inertia things like that. And uh, he is a Majorana fan because Majorana did some really amazing experiments. So that's really great. Um, I would click on that. I don't know how much those are, but um, I'm only here to tell you that this page exists. Thank you very much, Stephen Hurl. And of course, on my, on my number one best-selling, best-read, must-read, if you want to be science-woke books, especially if you're not super technical, this is. This is on my list for sure. And it's Dinosaurs and the Expanding Earth. Hardback, third edition of my book, and a Kindle edition. This is just a great book. Um, just, I can't say enough about it. I can't put I can't put another link to it because I already said about a link in, in, in YouTube. I can't put the a link in there twice so I can't go up here and point to it so uh, you know anyways I have a link to this page so read it get a Kindle version whatever must 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 read for 
critical thinkers and science. Bi uh, biography in a Changing World, Systematic Associations Specials Volume Series, Editors, blah, 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 blah. Bi uh, bio, uh, biogeography offers significant support, support for Earth expansion. This book presents the evidence for expansion in, cha in, in each chapter by McCarthy and an introduction by Adams, who also provided the cover illustration. That is great. Oh, would this be like Neil Adams? I'm going to go over here and open this in a new tab, and I'll wait till that gets there, and we'll see here. Uh, I see it's growing here, and we're going to see what it says and see what which kind of Adam that is. But maybe they don't list them all. But I don't know if that Neil Adam because those look, you know, it could be that Neil Adam Adams made that. He's the guy who does those great uh, um, videos. If you haven't seen those videos uh neil adams videos or expansion um boy it's not that bad kindle i have to get that one no give it to give it to charity no get away from that goodbye there we go all right so people like dave edit this thing okay anyways there you go but that may be because it looks like some really nice graphics there it's quite amazing look at the difference in sizes there on this cover here look at that that's this ball in the middle and then it goes down to this. Wow, Earth is, has expanded quite a bit. Um, why Earth expand? Why expanding Earth? A book in honor of Ot, uh, Ot Christoph Hil, uh, Hil, Hilgenberg. If you don't know who he is, he is one of the uh, earlier uh, people in the 20th century, earlier people in the 20th century who had made models and everything. And, and uh, Dr. James Maxwell made a point to go and visit him. Uh, and talk about uh, and meet him and talk with him. Great meetings of great minds in this area. Various authors examine the evidence for and against expanding Earth theory. Some of has uh, some of these have been available as PDF copies by the authors. Authors. So maybe you can take a look at that. Earth universe. Uh, Earth universe cosmos by S. S. S Warren Carey. S. Warren Carey is another hero. Believe it or not, geologists still talk about him, but they don't talk too much at all, if any, about expansion technology. Well, you know, great people can be crazy. They think there are uh, aliens visiting him every night. That's the kind of treatment this guy got. But another interesting story is that Samuel Warren Carey in, 19, in the early 1990s wrote a telegram to James Maxwell saying, I want to pass the torch. I'm getting old. You've got to take up the torch of expansion tectonics. Maxwell wasn't interested, but decided, well, I better look into it. This is a great honor to have this guy. He looked into it, and a bunch of years later, when he was looking at the South Pole and how it goes from the middle of Africa down to where the South Pole is now, he noticed that it fit perfectly on the expanding Earth. And he said after that, he could not go back. So a little story there. Professor Carey was a major champion of Earth expanding theory in the second edition of his latest book, of his last book, latest book, he clearly illustrates how the major features of the Earth can be explained by expanding Earth and the explanation of a probable reason of mass increase uh, of, of the Earth. Uh, the book <clears throat> builds a foundation for a remarkable new Earth science for the 21st century. Yes. Uh, theories of, of Earth and Universe, History of Dogma in Earth Science. Um, that is, I guess, uh, published in 1988. I guess it is available. Sometimes you can get these books from uh, libraries that had them and, and was so selling them real cheap. A Wandering Contents and Spreading Seafloors of an Expanding Earth. Hey, I got to get that one for him. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, huh. I guess I can't, pan uh, I, I could, ex uh, but I actually have that one. Uh, and that's a, a really great book. Uh, you can actually get some of those if they're still around. There were quite a few of them, so I got them really cheap a long time ago because in the 19, 2008 is when I found out about it, and I bought lots of books online for used books. Atlas Con uh, of Continental Displacement, 200 Million Years to the Present. Cambridge, uh, H. Owen, a British geologist, presents his own reasons to believe in a expanding Earth. Uh, some of these, I believe, are really from the, the days when um, Stephen Hurl was writing his book and he told us the story. In fact, if you want, uh, I'll do that right here uh, at minute 14 and a half, Dave, so I mark that. That is uh, uh, a, an interview that I had with Stephen Hurl about his book, so you want to take a look at that. And if not, I, if I'm doing this and I did it before, well, it's because you only can have one link. But uh, take a look at that. And, and he'll tell you, even I asked him about the stories, what he did. He didn't have the Internet back then. Okay. Um, 
expanding uh, Earth, some consequence of Dirac's uh, gravitational hypothesis. A German f a physicist presents his reasons uh, to believe in expanding Earth. Uh, I have heard about that too. Dirac, one of the great physicists uh, being associated with expanding Earth. The expanding Earth, evidence, causes, and effects. A Japanese ge geolog uh, geology professor presents his reasons to believe in the expanding Earth. Wow, there are so many. Our expanding Earth, the ultimate cause. An American geologist presents his reasons to expanding Earth. Woohoo! Man! I don't have any of these. Planet Earth's expanding in the uh, Isian uh, te tectonic event paradigm shift toward expansion tectonics. Um, and that's a German professor, a voyage of discovery, a history of and ideas of the Earth. This, chap th this has a chapter about the expanding Earth. Global and educational tectonics of expanding Earth. A Russian geologist, his reasons to believe in expanding Earth. So folks, there are great scientists around the world who, who, uh, who really uh, subscribe to to this, and like I said, it's it's almost impossible not to the gr the growing and developing Earth, uh, uh, and Al Alanian geologist pre presents his reasons to believe in expanding Earth. I won't even say that Nutiriat, how life responded to an expanding Earth. Oh, interesting. Uh, educational concepts of Earth's expansion theory, main grounds, paleomatic. A Russian geologist presents a bit. That's probably very technical. Uh, comment on this page on Facebook. Uh, I would do that. But this is just a treasure trove. I am going to see if I have some of these books around here. I think I may have uh, uh, the dino book on E, but I have... There it is. <clears throat> you know, I don't know if this book theories... I don't think he has this listed. Hey, Stephen, you didn't put this one on. And I have covers to some of these. This is another one that I bought, and this is by Samuel Warren Carey. In fact, I'm going to search for this um, universe. I'm going to see if that's here. If, if the word universe is on this page, then I went right by it. There is a there. No, there is a the Earth dogma. That's not this. This is theories of the Earth. Oh yes, it is. This is it. Hey, okay. <laughs> I thought so. Okay, this is a book, and you can get it. I got it, and it came from a library, I think. Boy, it would have been great if he signed it. Of course he didn't. But anyways, this is a great book. I will send you the cover picture so you can have that. I also have the other one, uh, the the one by, uh, ooh, what's his king? I also have that one. Anyways, that's my spiel for today. Man, I always think these are going to be, oh, I'll just do this in six minutes. But remember, this is a a must read book start with this one here the dinosaurs book dinosaurs expanding earth really great for you guys and go at it like i said don't take my word for it read it for yourself mr stephen hurl made this entire list just for you you read it you make up your mind and if you don't come out of it thinking that expansion tectonics really is a, a much better theory than plate tectonics I think you're, I don't even know what to say. I'm just saying myself, my own opinion. This is written in stone. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. And remember what I say, stay critical, stay thinking. I'm Dave D. Hills, your science therapist, trying to get you to the promised land of becoming science woke. Ciao for now.